End of end of eternity, I hope this time. Now, you may have noticed a slight disparity in levels. I've been busy. I've also done a couple of other things. Somebody mentioned the terminal effect for flame-based damage. I set that up as a backup. We've also done stuff to our guns. This got a little bit more. I could do more if I wanted to grind more parts. I really didn't feel like doing that. We got a lot more here. This is better. Kind of. Could be betterer, but it's the best I could do. This... I gotta figure out something with this. Like, I feel like there's something here, I just gotta find it. But this... This... Is perfect! Or at least as close to perfect as I could get. I am missing the potential for four boxes, and I don't know how to get them. That's what's gonna be the big issue here. What do, I, what do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven barrels. One is a tiny sub barrel on the th one of three grips. I have one, two, three, four, five, six scopes. One of them is a big scope, the other one is a special scope. And just, you know, regular old ass magazine. The, the, the vector is perfect. I've also did some, uh, I can only grind so much, but I got some poison protection. It's not perfect protection, but it increases the resistance better than what I had before. But also, if the, the, the perfect resist ones wanted me to get two rare shards for that, fuck that. That's dumb. I'm also kind of ridiculous in HP right now, because I've grinded to level 100. I've done... Let's see, if everyone was at level 70 when we started, I've grinded... Three, six, nine, I've grinded 104 levels? Period? And I just want to beat the fucking game, but there's just a slight problem. Um, I didn't have enough time to prepare for... Cleaning up ballistic, uh, Basilica? Because I had to cook dinner. So we gotta do basically the last of it. We don't have to kill the two popes, but we do have to do the last of the switches, which is admittedly tricky. Let's knuckle down and do this. Actually, you know what? I forgot something. Hang on. Oh, that's the question. Do I want to go with grenade? I don't have a lot of grenades, so I think I'm just gonna keep Leanne on support, but I have given Vacheron, no, I gave Zephyr both vectors. How much is left? Technically, I just have to go to the end of this trident hallway, press each of the switches on the left and right, and then shoot the Pope in the face. But sadly, it's not as easy as that. See if uh, Bash can match that. Ah, well, with a full scratch, we can absolutely match that. Yummy. Oh god, we have a long ways to go, don't we? Now, when we're done with the game, I do want to show off other stuff. There's a lot of other funny things I want to show off. But for now, I just want to shoot the Pope in the face, and I fear that may take a while.
I'm gonna miss you, avant-garde crazy guy. I'm gonna kill the first one of you who looks me in the eye and take it from there. Hmm, not a lot of enemies here. Oh, God damn it. Fucked it. Ah, fucked it. Look at this pose. What is happening in this in this image right now? Cause I won't. Zephyr's the scuff from TF2 before they fix crazy legs. Yeah. I can see that. Though he's not as cool as Scout. I totally forgot we're fighting the French. Now next is God Hand, I believe. Do this just like all the rest and everything will be fine. I'm not gonna deal with this. Don't believe for a second you're winning this. It's gonna leave! Just old Vacheron's gonna leave. No need to do this. Also, let us not forget fucking anti-material rifle Pope. Like, I saw this and was like, yo homie, what the fuck? Why don't we have that? And why didn't we take that? Yeah, TF2's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, so we have freeze, assault, railgun, assault. I think we have number to take up to uh, resist assault. Oh god damn it. Oh, we do not have number to resist assault. Uh I'm going to kill the first one. Those assaults have to die. Take it from there. God, we're like 40 levels above them. How are they still doing insane amounts of da damage? guy from Killer7. Oh, yeah. Harmon was interesting because he was entirely just a gimmick. Killer7 was a dope fucking game, though. That was fun. Your last mistake. 
Man, this SMG just doesn't cut it at the end game. Ugh. I gotta see if I can reinforce this. I think he's out regening the damage, unfortunately. Now to deal with you. You've been kind of a headache, haven't you? Having double SMGs really makes this game that much more fucking stupid. Now, what's in these chests? One of them is an emergency hex, and I believe the other is a gun part. And it's a gun part I don't particularly use. Also, man, Leanne's like noodle walk is great. I believe the S rail is the mod that we use to get a special scope on a handgun. But you really don't use anything the handguns for anything other than last hits, so it's like eh. Poor unlucky bastards. Ah, right, the double god hand. Still relevant damage. Kinda wish you uploaded some of these playthroughs to YouTube mainly because Twitch videos are Oh really? I've been not really interested in YouTube lately just because I have never seen a red cent from YouTube, period. And Twitch has given me thirteen hundred dollars this year. It is all about the money, and I'm sorry you, you haven't been able to see this as a result. But it's kind of hard to stay with YouTube when you get nothing from it. Is that why Neo kind of died? No, Neo died because I could never get a good scheduling with Travis. I want to go back to that, but I have a lot of other things to finish as well. Really, I will freely admit that all of the LP scheduling problems have been my fault. I've been busy with work lately and it's kind of frustrating. Oh wait, I'm still using anti anti tank rifles. Okay, I was gonna say if he if he survives that, that's gonna suck. I do want to go back to Neo, but man, I don't know if I could like. Go back with a new commentator, I think that might feel weird. And also, uh, Time Warriors is also doing their own LP, so I figure it might be neat to just leave it to them for now.
I hope that doesn't guard break Zephyr. Okay, good. Amazon has infinite data space like Google, don't know what to be, but, uh, what's this about deleting old stuff? I feel like I missed something here. Look at that let go. Ooh, that ragdoll. Look at that butt. Ah. I believe the next fight is a tank and a giant. It's not too late to run. Lucky for you, I don't think it's sporting to shoot someone in the back. Hmm, I believe the Goliath is the big problem here. Aren't some of your VODs lost to the sands of time? The ones that A, I haven't bothered to archive, and B, anything anything during Hitbox is, yeah, just gone to the ethers. Because Hitbox is fucking impenetrable. Oh, fuck you. That was just rude. That truck ran me over actively. Oh wait, no, the truck didn't do it. I forgot about the thing in the center. Yes. <laughs> Truckulees! Uh, yeah, SCNA Shadowrun is gone, but really, was anybody watching that? I'll tell you what was an actual shame for disappearing, um, Fallout 1, 1 Strength, 1 Intelligence. That shit was fucking funny. I wish you archived more Jethro stuff. I'll put that on the dot- I'll put that as a reminder. Because if people are interested in that, I will make the effort to archive those. I mainly was doing those as like, ah, I'm bored, I'll do Death Road. As I'll shoot people in the face going, it's very shooty in the face right now. Let's let's shooty in the face. Put me in to shame. That was a shooty in the face. I hope you enjoyed. Wait, something healed it? Is it? Healed by... Yeah, I did not- I have not yet gotten to Shooty McShooty face yet, but I intend to. Stuff is really fun to watch. I usually just can't watch because he streams 4 a.m. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I thought it was bad enough that I'm streaming to people at midnight on the uh, East Coast, but it's the only time I have it free, so. Missiles. The explosions. Speaking of archives, um, 
I believe so far, the first nine stream, like the, so far nine streams of Residence of Fate are archived. I don't think I've done stake farming onward and I'm starting to archive Luigi's Mansion. Let's get this over with. Speaking of, Luigi's Mansion continues next week, if I beat this game. Aha, uh -huh, bitch! I have hard cover! Ow! Charlie Horse! I'm gonna kill the first one of you who looks me ah, and take fuck. It There's no running from this. Zephyr, get your murder on. Ooh, nice, a full scratch. On both assaults, too. That's great. Because now Leanne's going to murder everyone. Fucking smooth as butter. And away you go! To space with you! Man, we're still leveling up. What the fuck? Every level up means I've done about 500,000 damage. Alright, Leanne, will you do the needful? Get your frying pan and let's rock. Every bullet's a frying pan. Yeah. Are they damaging your cover? Oh yeah, certain cover can be damaged. Anytime I go to something like, say, this and this thing pops up, I have cover, but cover in this game sucks. You'll always want to be hero running. Because when you hero run, you're immune to damage. This is your last warning. Get back or I'll shoot. <sighs> I could just leave. We want to just leave? Nah. You're gonna be a headache. I can't just leave. Man, was that a full scratch? Every single time I do a HP break, I get a stun. This is very important. Still on board. Well, that was a waste of a bullet. I didn't even need that fucking metal coat. This is going by way faster than my past attempts. This is, this is a good sign. I have cover, guys. Look. It's me, Leanne. I have cover. Uh. Uh. I wish we weren't shooting the Pope. This shouldn't take long. Ugh, right. These clowns.
Uh, what? On purpose. Uh, I hope you can take your beat, Zephyr. Ooh, ooh. Oh god, come on! Give it to me! Give it to me! Ah, damn it! That's not good. Uh, we gotta retry that. It kind of sucks that these guys do so much damage. Cause man, I've done so much grinding and it feels like I haven't. Why are they all going for Zephyr? Fuck off! Damn it. this. Oh, damn it. That pillar fucking ruined everything. Alright, I have to get Zephyr out of there. God, that did, like, no damage. I love hearing these giant motherfuckers say, Your ass is mine! Uh, he's still fully armored, so let's use some of the Melicotes. Ah, I didn't break a shield, damn it. Guess I'm going this way. I don't know why it made me run there, but sure. Haven't broken that shield. That should do it. I love these ragdolls, they have no idea what they're doing. Activate the other switch. I don't know if I activated the other switch. Oh boy.
Good, no trucks here. But I'm pretty sure the center room is gonna have everybody... again. It's not too late to run. Lucky for you, I don't think it's sporting to shoot someone in the back. I think I'm just gonna run for the door, fuck these guys. Time to go! Okay, good. We, yeah, we did it. Button was pushed. Let's get a cutscene and hope to God we do this right. So we have to kill the assaults first. They are an active problem. Another step closer to a miracle. It's been a long journey. How long I've waited for this moment. There's something I wanted to ask you. I'm listening. I believe everyone has a path they're meant to walk. Do you regret yours? I have no regrets. I do like I chose this guy as a villain, just because he's not comical about it. I will accept the fate that awaits. I'm glad. What a curious girl. Why don't you hate me? You think you're some kind of saint? You may not want to kill me, but that won't stop me from killing you! No, but maybe this will. Shooting someone in the back. Not very sporting of you. You really want to see a miracle? Oh no, Zephyr, please don't talk. Are you going to show me? I don't think you'll live long enough to see it! Love me. Spin! <laughs> Have you come to show me miracles or reality? I'm not here to show you anything. I'm here to take everything away. I don't understand. Why are you holding a gun to us? Foolish child. Do you need a reason to kill? You're nothing but a bad joke. What's getting killed in a rage fuel frenzy gonna accomplish? Travel on all you like. Only a hard-fought death holds the meaning I crave. Okay, so that's not as bad. My only sin is living. Exactly. Kill or be killed. We're not so unalike, you and I. So the levels have made a distinct difference. My bullets are all one way to get down. This is no schoolyard brawl. I want to see blood, child. You'll be shouting it all the way down to hell. Hmm. I gotta figure that shit out soon. Is that your best? Would picturing Leanne not help you find strength? Would picturing your mouth full of lead help you to shut up? Damn it! Fuck off! Uh, Patron's in trouble. Moving pretty slow. All that lead weighing you down? Don't worry about me. My body isn't half so broken as your mind. Okay, the level ups have made a difference. I'm glad to see that. Yeah, I just need to get away from them. That's all I that's what I need to do right now.
However, I do need to set up a good try attack, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. God, they are all after Vashron. Holy shit. What the hell gave you that idea? Fine. Tell God whatever you want when you're praying for your life. I'd hope for a clash of hearts pounding with the heat of battle. It's easy for raw power to overcome base emotion. They really want Vacheron's blood, and I don't like this. You're trapped. You should feel your soul slipping away, but you don't. Oh, my body may tremble in fear, but my soul trembles with joy. I won't let you die. I'll thank you, I deliver the killing blow. Home shooting is much more manageable. It's just that man, these ads are still kind of a horse's ass. Words to plead for your life. I require neither God's judgment nor his absolution. I want only to continue this exchange of blood and rage. I like how Rowan gets his own hero actions. It's really cool, actually. Ah, damn it, Leanne got poisoned. He still has a ridiculous amount of regen. Like, I have to get those fire bullets off ASAP. Do I have not enough to do Should've that? Searching for the quartz instead of rushing towards death. It's never too late. I would never be here with you now if I hadn't believed in myself. Man, that incendiary effect is just not proccing. There we go. You say you do not fear change, but what if that change is death? So long as Zephyr keeps fighting, I'll never give up. You're gonna swim in your own blood! I'm getting away with murder! Ah, damn it! Ooh, no! Fuck! The boy, on the other hand. Ah, Leanne had to get hit with that. the right to hear it. Simple. I fight because I want to believe. Okay, I gotta I gotta go for it. Absolute. 
could go wrong with the dramatic camera. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's see if I could do this. <laughs> it's a hundred thousand damage. Yeah! Pope Zed! Only took us forty four minutes. Man, that grinding actually fucking mattered. That feels good. Please, won't you let the curtain fall? Shoot the painting and let it drop on him. I don't want to see it end. After all he's done? He didn't do any. Oh, what? Yo, yo, he's one too. Let's be real. Rowan didn't do anything Why are wrong. You doing It was all Sullivan. Though, uh, Rowan's little outburst there was kind of fucked up. We'll let you take it from here. Yeah, stop fucking things up, okay? So I believe this means the Pope can't die. Oh god, Chachi, I have a lot to fill you in about what the fuck just happened now. Basically, every human inside the city is managed by what is effectively a giant clock. They set their lifespan to quartz. Now there are certain individuals that the clock deems worthy of not dying until absolutely necessary. Vacheron is one, Leanne is one, Zephyr is one. And now Rowan's one. So the clock has plans for him alongside us. Where do you think they come from? That's it. Don't forget to consider the possibilities. Don't look away. But look away? Which way? That way. Outside our little world. I like a bee hat. Yeah! We got that at chapter three and I've never taken it off. Oh yeah, um, she has Leanne's quartz. Bye-bye. Don't worry about not knowing the plot. You guys came in at the absolute end. Oh? Uh? So that is supposedly Leanne's quartz. Which means now that's broken, she should die. Oh, we never killed him! I'm sorry? He's fa- what? Hang on! It's a goddamn miracle. I'm so glad this avant-garde motherfucker still lives. I'm going to go on to live and be weird! 
And of course, since the artist lives, Railgun Grandpa also lives. The question is, what does that miracle sign mean? He was the one that actually told us about the miracle sign, so it's kind of nice that he gets to see one himself. Ah, Leanne's mentor is still here. I don't know why he's still relevant. And why he has drawings on his cheeks? When did that shit happen? This dude doesn't want to take a bath because he's sad, Max. He's sad. Now here's the real crime. This woman did not matter in the story at all. She was a fucking nothing. She was implied to be like the conscience of um, Rowan, but you see her in a grand total of four scenes. Oh, wait, shit, is Sullivan still alive? Oh no, that's just Rowan, never mind. I was gonna say, if Sullivan's still alive, what the fuck? But it makes sense that Rowan's still alive, because we saw that. That must be the, uh, not Pater, the, the head Pope-mobile, the dead head Pope-mobile, but I forget the name of it. Did we even kill Sullivan? Yes! Well, we didn't. Rowan did. He used the golden gun and everything. Oh! No, we didn't kill Sullivan! Fuck! Of course he gets a miracle, too. I'm going to go continue to be evil. These rose? These roses? Fuck them. I don't care. I see what you see. Sullivan. Darling vampire daughter still loves you. Get bit in the neck. Ah, uh, see you later, how Jigaba. Merry fucking Christmas, everyone lives, except apparently Leanne just wanted her to get punched, wanted Sullivan to get punched. Ah oh, yeah, butt rock! Now I wonder if I could do this without fucking things up. So... For those of you that have just got here, I'm going to try to explain the plot as the credits go. This is a world where humanity is apparently super fucked. Everybody lives in a gigantic clockwork city called Basil, and at the heart of it lies Zenith, some kind of timekeeping mechanism that is meant to regulate the lifespan of humanity to 100 years, signified by a single piece of quartz. If you find your quartz, you apparently have infinite good luck, but the moment that quartz breaks, you die because of rapid aging. Um, what else is there? For a while, Sullivan and the church has been experimenting with manipulating the lifespan of, um, quartzes. Leanne was one of those experiments. She was expected to live only 20 years, but didn't. She lived well beyond that. Now, I gotta go back to something. The reason why... Um... The reason why humanity is... 
limited to a hundred years is because supposedly technology got so rampant to where humanity could just live forever and they became a tumor on the planet and it resulted in like a doomsday scenario. Oh yeah, Peter's still dead. Yeah. So yeah, the church was doing experiments with quartz, Leanne was supposed to die, and when she realized she only had six months to live, she tried to kill herself, but Zephyr saved him. Saved her. And the moment of her saving, which should have killed her because they died, they've dived a thousand feet? I don't fucking know. They dived from the top of Chandelier all the way to the bottom of the tower. They fell. They both survived. Supposedly a miracle sign was left behind, which means Leanne was a chosen one. So that is the backdropping of what the fuck is happening here. Big Clock keeps track of lifespans, but apparently some people are destined. The story of Residence of Fate is not really a story. It's more of a character study. It is the... It is a world-building exercise and a character study. All of the story is effectively understanding the world of Basel, the infrastructure of the church, and the interactions between Vacheron, who is the mentor, Zephyr, who is the, um, who is the child struggling to find a purpose, and Leanne, the girl who is trying to figure out what to do with her life. You see these three interactions as these three anime people basically act like buffoons towards each other. Like, peeping on each other in the shower, hitting each other with frying pans, brooding in a corner. Anime. And it's basically this understanding of, like, growing with each other. And it's... A good story if you look at it as a character story. Yeah, Cassie says it best. It's very reminiscent of, of Cowboy Bebop. The team is assembled and they just kind of exist. There's no world ending plot, there's no vendetta. It's just three people trying to exist in this awful world. And we really don't know much about the world beyond it. Like we know there's an apocalypse scenario and apparently there's a, there's a race of weird horned vampires that live outside the clock city which is signified by the weird gal that Sullivan was talking to but the actual main plot was the final plot was Leanne discovers her scenario she realizes that she's a freak lab experiment and just wants answers now by do it by existing that puts Rowan's entire belief into crisis he doubts the very existence of life because Zephyr a boy who killed 30 people is still allowed to live by some miracle Leanne lived despite the heretical actions of the church the fact that these two still exist makes Rowan kind of fucking lose his mind and he hopes for a miracle and the entire last three chapters is a showdown of Leanne wanting answers as to why the church did this, and Rowan wanting a miracle, trying to figure out what exactly faith, this faith is all about. And it ends with Rowan getting his miracle. Zephyr shoots him in the chest, fucking dead, and Rowan doesn't die. Which leaves a lot more questions, actually. Which are, I believe, if I've read up right, Answered in Neverland. Oh, more plot. Hello. Why is your hand glowing? Is that, is that Leanne? I can't tell. Oh, she is her own quartz! within my grasp. Oh, they went outside the clock. Interesting. That's super interesting, actually. They went outside Basil. Are also wearing non-canon clothes. That's not what they wear at all. I don't know why the game thinks that. Oh, right. I'm hovered over. Now, I could do New Game Plus and do another new loop with everything I have and just kind of trounce through the game. But I do want to show something off a little bit. Oh, hey, look at this. A little vignette. 
Oh, that's nice. So, Resident of Fate is interesting because the story is very micro. It's nothing big, it's nothing grand scale, it's just the story of three people. And in a lot of ways it's the game's downfall because there's not really any payoff. Leanne doesn't really get her revenge, Zephyr doesn't... or Leanne doesn't really get her answers and Zephyr doesn't get his revenge. Because Rowan lives, Sullivan lives, the church gets no repercussions. I think this was going to lead up to Resonance of Fate 2, which would have been, like, the big plot. But this game didn't really sell well. I think it only sold enough to, like, make back what they made, because... I believe this was developed in tandem and released at the same time as Star Ocean 4. And since Star Ocean 4 has the words Star Ocean on it, despite the lack of good writing and quality assurance in the gameplay, where... Unlike um, this game, the final boss has millions of HP and you can only do thousands. The final boss for Star Ocean 4, for me, took about three hours of grinding, arduous, no threat whatsoever fighting. And the story in Star Ocean 4 sucked. Which is a shame because I think, despite the overarching plot being shit, I actually like the story of this game. I really like this game. Like, I, this is the second time I've played it, and I think I'm at 90 hours at this point, but I actually like this game a lot. It's a fascinating world with good characters, and brilliant comedic timing, really. But, I could do other things today, I'm probably gonna continue... I'm probably gonna continue Ghostbusters, but I do want, I do want to show off one thing before we go. I like the idea that Zephyr never gets his revenge and his answer is to go do something else. That's a pretty good answer, actually. Oh no, the Pope's still alive! We're back in time! I gotta go do something. This to me feels like... I say this a lot for games, but the more I play tabletop games, the more I start to see links in a lot of other video games. This whole plot feels like... A D and D game set in Eberron. Like it looks like the DM took some liberties, but took the core ideas and made this, and then they just turned it into a game, and that's kind of cool, actually. So I got a couple things to show off. First off, there is a side quest that is the only reason why I am level one hundred and level and not level seventy. And, uh, I'm gonna show it off to you guys, because I'm not gonna beat it, because I could need this I could need this to grind in the future. But this is the head of the rebels. Throughout the whole game, there have been side quests of a rebel faction causing shit across Basil. And every mission you take, you kind of cut them off at the knee. And this is the final mission. We get to see who the leader of the rebel faction is. It's an old grandpa! I like it when it gets messy. Old grandpa's the leader of this weird band of faction. He's gonna fuck you up with this tennis racket. I'm not gonna kill him, but I have to point out that he's level 93. Also, I gotta turn the volume back up, so... Hang on a second. Now, let's see what grandpa does. I'm gonna let him hit Zephyr. Now, watch what happens to Zephyr. Oh, they cut it out. Um, so I don't know if it's a render or what, but uh, Grandpa just did 5,000 scratch damage. Grandpa also has somewhere around the realms of 80,000 HP, so he's a good grind. Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. But yeah, that is that was my grind, and also I should turn the volume back up. So there was that, but now let's go answer the biggest mystery. What the fuck is Never Neverland? I showed this off before, but I want to show it off again before we call it a night. So by killing the artist and grandpa guitar, we got black tiles.
black tiles unlock this specific tile that we've seen the entire game but have never been able to do anything with. Let's go ahead and see what's down there. The black energy hexes required to activate this elevator, elevator haven't been seen in hundreds of years and so still lies unused. I couldn't imagine a sequel to this unless they did something completely different for combat. I'm not gonna lie, I would like seeing this combat for other games. Definitely tweaked because it could use some improvements. But could you imagine one of two scenarios for this? Imagine this for, say, a Wild Arms game, or better yet, the Laguna Loire game. Wouldn't that fucking rule? Neverland. No man has ever returned sane from this dark place, said to be the remnants of a Cardinal Run amusement park. At floor 14. Sorry, 12. It also has some really good music. No indication remains of this place's former purpose, but the footprints at every turn prove that this place is still well-traveled. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to rest, I meant to save. Yeah, the music's really good. I believe Motoi Sakuraba did the music for this, and you, you, you could tell because goddamn it rules. Also, one thing to note about this JRPG ending, it was short. I think the final cutscene of Residence of Fate was eight minutes, barring the credits. That felt really good. Said this area once it contained attractions to tempt ch children and adults alike, but now. Hardly feels like work when you enjoy it so much. So we have the blob chassis, the never crawler, and some never stampedes, and a gold box. These seems like the levels that I can manage. They're not as big as the Pope, so it should be fine. Oh, everything hurts. Let's just go ahead and get Zephyr out of there. Oh. <laughs> Later, Zephyr. Or er, Vash. Ow! Let's try one more. Let's try one more time. Just, just, just to see if I can actually do this. Cause I want to see what's in that chest. Good place to find some walking around money. Oh, there was just a dude back there. Okay, I was wondering where all that damage came from. I have a plan. And it should work. Where are the metal coats? Hey guys, look, I'm using cover, the mechanic we never used in this game.
Holy crap! Hmm. Yeah, I think we're still underleveled for this. Like, that was the assault rifle, guys. You really need ammo case stuff until number get bigger. I don't think Le did Leanne get- no, well, Leanne died before, but like... Zephyr was the reason the gauge broke. But yeah, that was Resonance of Fate. Now, I believe a fair bit of uh, meta plot still exists in that dungeon, but I don't know if I'm going to do it because the level range for Neverland is 150 to 400. Now, we could only hit level 300, which means the levels the enemy will be at least 100 levels above us. And that is a lot of grinding that I don't want to do for a casual stream. So for now, let us bid Resonance of Fate adieu. It was fun, and I hope for those that stuck around, I hope you found the story interesting enough to give it a shot. I believe the remake is 40 bucks on Steam, and I like the game a lot. But until next time, Basil. Alright. That was fun. Can't believe the Pope is dead. Well, not dead. Now immortal. Let's go ahead and switch this Dealy Bopper over yonder. And give me a second to do some advertisements. Just some quick old things. First off, I want to... I'm going to get some idle music that is appropriate. Got to find the right song. There we go. That's the song. I love this fucking song. It was the song that made me went, oh yeah, this game rules. <laughs> 